into democracy. This is was this was bad. The president must be ashamed of himself. Let me tell you the culture of the ANC in this parliament. Once the president has spoken to the ANC um, uh, programs and he has touched the souls and commitments of ANC members of parliament, immediately when he finishes speaking, they clap hands non-stop to a point where presiding officers to intervene. They sing songs to celebrate the speech of the president. What did you see today? They were all so demoralized because he said nothing. He abandoned Nazareth resolutions. He never spoke about the manifesto of the ANC. He never spoke about the resolutions of the ANC. He came to speak about his own imagination. Imagine this in your mind. That's what you are saying today. When you look at the president, when it comes to the issue of youth being, the youth unemployment being a national crisis, you've spoken about these issues of young people, you've got issues of unemployment in rural areas. How does the country address these specific issues? And what is South Africa's relationship with China when he says he's inspired to build this new city, looking at Beijing and China? Are you inspired that China can help South Africa build this new city? You cannot create a situation where there is an equal society if you are not going to expropriate land without compensation. You cannot create an equal society without a state-owned bank. You cannot create equal society without the government owning strategic sectors in the economy. He says China inspires him. He must learn from China that strategic sectors in the economy are owned by the government of China. And therefore, everything else he said here in terms of policy is very far from what the Chinese are doing. And to say it's inspired by the Chinese to build a city, yet policies are at the direct opposite of what the Chinese are doing. Even that city will not exist. Why are we talking about a new city now? 25 years into democracy, we have never built a new railway lane. We are still using apartheid railway lanes. We are still in the cities of apartheid. There is nothing that the ANC has done to create a new city, to create new lanes, to connect at least southern Africa. When you look at this bullet train, would you have used this bullet train going to your court case tomorrow in Bloemfontein? That's what we need. All of us need that. We're going to come and attend SONA today. I will go to my court case in Bloemfontein tomorrow, I mean tonight, and then you will go back to Johannesburg and report from the studio in the morning. Mr. Malema, direct question. If President Ramaphosa were to offer you a cabinet position, would you accept? I will never accept cabinet position. I refused cabinet position when I was the president of the Youth League. I refused coming to parliament when I was in the Youth League. I'm refusing now. I must be elected by our people. I cannot come through a back door. Let me tell you, they destroyed Azapo because Azapo accepted the position in cabinet. They are going to destroy that good. That good will look bad in the next five years. It will not stand for elections. That's how the ANC kills parties. They've destroyed that party of uh, the woman from KZN. Who, who broke away from the IFP by giving her a position in cabinet. If any of us in the EFF was to accept a position in cabinet, then you must kiss the EFF goodbye. That is the end of the EFF. I know how the ANC kill parties. I know how the ANC destroys parties. I was at the nerve center of destroying COPE. That's why they can't succeed with the EFF. I know all their strategies. So with the EFF, they will never uh, try it because I know their tricks. I they see. never give you a position genuinely. They give you a position with an intention to destroy your movement. I see your former deputy president in the Youth League, now the Minister of Justice, is inspired by you. He's now wearing Louis Vuitton shoes. <laughs> we wish him well. Uh, it's not about shoes. Uh, you, you must go beyond looking for material, my friend. Look at brains. Listen to him. He's a good young man. As a young person, he should be celebrating La Mula and not see his Louis Vuitton shoes. See the brain. Celebrate the brain. Go beyond what the eye see. Think critically. You will see that Louis Vuitton doesn't matter. What matters is the will to do certain things. If, if you've got that will, we don't care what you wear. We don't care where you stay. As long as you've got the will to change the lives of our people. So La Mula is a good guy. He's a young man with ambition. He will make mistakes. We must support him. We must not destroy him.
and we hope that he will not participate in factional activities which are going to end up destroying him. Thank you very much, Mr. Malema.